Many would say that being Russia's president at the moment is not the most lucrative job out there. But seeing how Vladimir Putin lives his lavish life, it seems that it's not all bad. Especially when you have between 70 and 200 billion dollars in your bank account. And while Putin is certainly among the most hated people at the moment, I'm pretty sure he finds some comfort in his $1 billion ultra-luxurious mansion on the Black Sea coast. So let's take a big gulp of vodka and see what else the Russian commander-in-chief has purchased with his vast wealth. Number 8. Homes While according to the official Russian government website, Vladimir Putin owns just a single mid-sized apartment in Moscow, I'm inclined to believe that's not exactly the case. Technically, that might be true, but Putin also uses over 20 state-owned homes across Russia as he pleases. More than 80% of them were built after Vladimir came into power, and it's quite obvious that they were designed with Putin's comfort in mind. The Russian leader lives in Novo Agayovo. The lavish mansion is about 20 minutes away from the Kremlin, through a private road only Putin is allowed to use. Unlike the White House, this astounding home is not open for public visits. And there are only a few photos from the inside. After all, the Russian president is very meticulous when it comes to his security. Nonetheless, it's widely known that the residence has a breathtaking design, lavish decorations, and one fantastic garden. The estate certainly doesn't lack luxurious touch, as it has a heated indoor swimming pool, several cold water plunge pools, and a sauna. Can you imagine Putin living in a place without state-of-the-art private fitness? I certainly can't. After all, about four hours of the president's day are dedicated to his fantastic look, despite him being almost 70. Although Novo Argeovo is his permanent residence, Putin loves visiting some of the other government-owned estates at his disposal until the end of his presidency, which will most likely coincide with his death as he probably won't lose the position anytime soon. From time to time, he enjoys a spacious apartment in downtown Moscow, overlooking one of the biggest cities on the planet. Putin is also known for often visiting the Russian exclave Kaliningrad, where he stays at a massive and gorgeous mansion in Yantar, right on the coast of the Baltic Sea. When it comes to the seaside, however, Putin definitely prefers the Black Sea. It's far warmer and less salty than the Baltic, and you don't need to wear a fur coat in mid-June. His official summer residence is in Sochi, where he resides in a genuine palace. This, however, is more of a workplace, as international meetings are often held there. Naturally, to get some peace and quiet, the Russian president prefers his personal $1 billion home, positioned on a small peninsula overlooking the Black Sea near Gelenzik, Krasnodarsky Krai. The mansion was inspired by late European palaces like Versailles. Satellite images show several helipads, one great park with an amphitheater, several flower beds, a private church, statues, and a fountain. In close proximity, there are several other houses, which are most likely used by the personal and security detail while Putin is there. The interior of the home is simply breathtaking. Golden ornaments beautify the walls and ceilings, as do priceless paintings. The furniture is custom-designed and gold-encrusted. Inside this mega-mansion, there is an entire hockey ring, which is unsurprising knowing Putin's love for the sport, a private casino, and several swimming pools, jacuzzis, and saunas. There is also a cocktail bar, which is strange since Putin famously never drinks alcohol. But I guess when you have 200 billion, you can afford to do something just for your guests like an additional 28,000 square feet guest house on the side. By now, you're probably wondering where Putin exercises when he's in this magnificent palace. Well, in his own private fitness center, which reportedly costs north of $100,000 to furnish with top-of-the-line equipment. Looking at Putin's shape, I guess working out in a $1 billion home does wonders to your body. Number 7. 
yachts. If it hasn't become clear yet, Putin has a thing for luxury, and without a doubt, he has an eye when it comes to yachts. The Russian president has at least four of them. His prized gem is graceful, which cost Putin around $100 million. It can accommodate up to 14 people in six ultra-luxurious and spacious bedrooms. In addition, the yacht has a helipad and several lounging spaces. Unfortunately, the yacht's interior remains a secret, as Putin is not particularly fond of sharing his possessions with the media. The Seagull is another yacht at Putin's disposal, although it's officially state-owned. Now, why the Russian state would need a 177-feet-long floating palace is beyond me. The $40 million yacht's purpose, without a doubt, is to be a pleasure cruise, as it has a giant dining room, large swimming pool, jacuzzi, barbecue, and a beach club. Can you imagine Putin getting on a yacht without a top-of-the-line gym? Thankfully, the Seagull does not disappoint. Otherwise, it would most probably have had Moscow's fate. Not the city, the ship. The Olympia is one of the few luxurious items Putin admits to owning. According to the president, it was a very generous gift by former Chelsea Football Club president and Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich. How is a $35 million yacht not a bribe? I have no clue, but hey, who am I to judge? Naturally, the boat has all the amenities a playboy like Abramovich would need, as well as a lavishly decorated office. After all, running the biggest country in the world is a 24-7 job. Finally, there is Rosia, which, yes, is actually how Russians pronounce their homeland. It's sweet to think that Putin is actually not hiding, he's taking Russia for a ride. Putin has invested a colossal sum of $1.5 billion in refurbishing this yacht, but alas, its features and interior remain a secret. Number 6. Cars Vladimir Putin has one particularly interesting car collection. Along with luxurious Western brands, which he predominantly hides in a garage and uses as investments, he has a collection of Russian automobiles. His favorite is a 2018 Aura Senat, which replaced his previous Mercedes-Benz S600 Guard Pullman. The Russian manufacturer is well known to have supplied numerous Russian leaders with high-standard, ultra-luxurious limousines all of which were built with FPS's, the former KGB, security standards. Putin's limo has defensive and offensive capabilities, as it can withstand a bomb explosion, all-caliber bullets, and sniper shots. Reportedly, Putin ordered this luxurious vehicle in his decision to switch all Western vehicles with equivalently good Russian-built models. The price of this fabulous limo to the general public is around a quarter of a million dollars. However, Putin's car would have cost more than $300,000. Among Putin's car collection, there are some Soviet relics, like a Ukrainian-built Zaz. According to rumors, this was the first car he ever drove, and due to his sentiment, he invested $10,000 in finding a mint-conditioned vehicle of this brand. He also owns a Gaz Volga, which was one of the high-class cars of the Soviet Union. The vehicle became famous when Putin drove George Bush in it in 2006. However, Putin's favorite is his Lava Neva 4x4, which cost him around $15,000. Number 5. Private Jets and Helicopters Since not all travel can be done by car, Russia's president owns a fleet of planes and helicopters. Rumors state that the president has 58 aviation machines at his disposal at any time. Inside, there are pricey private jets like a $20 million Dassault Falcon. The plane can accommodate up to 19 passengers and has an entertainment system that can be the envy of any Arab sheik. His Airbus ACJ319 is also not far behind when it comes to lavish decoration. Naturally, the Russian president has several Russian-made Tu-154, each one costing between $7.5 and $20 million. However, his prized possession is his Ilyushin Tu-96300PU, 
The Soviet-built machine is highly modified and equivalent to the US's Air Force One. It's like a flying Kremlin, and according to some sources, its decoration alone was over $11 million. Moreover, the interior has so much gold that Donald Trump would actually divorce Melania and try to hook up with Putin. The Russian president has five of those, costing around $500 million each. When it comes to helicopters, Putin only trusts the Russians, as he avoids going on anything that's not MI-8. The Soviet-built chopper is secure and has some combat capabilities, which the Russian president values very much, especially these days. Number 4. Wardrobe One thing that Putin has, and it cost him nothing at all, is his charisma. The Russian president surely knows how to simultaneously inspire terror, solidarity, and compassion. A significant contributor to his character is his wardrobe, and as you might have guessed, he spares no expense on his clothes. Putin prefers the elegant style, and can rarely be seen in anything but his formal suit. Well, that's when he's not doing a topless photo shoot, of course. His brands of choice are Keaton and Brioni, accompanied by a Valentino formal tie. According to some sources, his collection of suits costs over $100,000, which means he wouldn't be seen walking around in rags anytime soon, despite the sanctions on luxurious goods from most EU countries. Number 3. Watches In addition to his suits, Putin has a vast collection of watches as he has been seen with at least 11 different luxurious brands on his wrist. It's estimated that their total price is around $700,000, but one watch drives the cost up significantly. It's a Patek Philippe wristwatch, which is well known as one of the most luxurious watches in the world. Unfortunately, it costs roughly $1 million. And not just anyone can purchase it. Putin, however, got it as a present from an anonymous high-profile Russian who bought the watch at an auction. Number 2. Security When it comes to security, Putin knows far too well that there can't be any slip-ups. He is the most heavily guarded president in the world, as he spends a massive amount each year to secure the loyalty of the FSO also known as Putin's private army. Over 3,000 people are tasked with keeping the Russian president safe, which is anything but surprising, knowing how good Vladimir Putin is at making enemies. The FSO is armed with top-shelf equipment like armored cars, drones, and some of the best hackers in the world. There is even a psychological unit that looks for threats before they are even planned. Naturally, this costs millions, which might sound like a bit of an overkill when you know that Putin is very much loved in his country. However, the outside threats are a good enough reason to make your bodyguards into your biggest fans. Putin does this with the help of his power, as he offers them perks not many people in Russia can enjoy. Number 1. Art Collection while many bad things can be said about Vladimir Putin's governing and international politics, one thing can't be denied. He is a man of impeccable taste and class. This can be seen most effortlessly through his private art collection. According to some sources, the total worth of this collection exceeds $2 billion. In it, you can see over a thousand works by Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Rembrandt, and others. However, the most obscure thing about this collection is its location. This magnificent museum is located in a small Moscow apartment guarded by police 24-7. Not that there's a thief in the world that would dare steal from Vladimir Putin, but still. Indeed. Vladimir Putin knows how to live large. Despite his transgressions, one cannot deny his astounding lifestyle shows his unwavering taste, high class, and love of beauty. Which of Putin's possessions surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. 
If you're mind blown by how Putin spends his billions, make sure to check my video on how he travels. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.